So, I'm just concerned if it's too similar. Too similar. Because you see Cold Vein, they did it. You see Jedi Fallen Order. That game is actually phenomenal. A lot of games try to try to um, use that Dark Souls formula. It just sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. I'm not a big Dark Souls fan, but I'm willing to see what this game is gonna bring. So let's look at it. Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and don't forget to check the links down below. All right, let's look at this. Lies of P. Official alpha gameplay teaser trailer. How is a teaser trailer two minutes and 31 seconds? They should have just released the whole gameplay. What's the point of even teasing it? They might be showing it at the Game Awards. Who knows? All right, let's get this. This teaser was made with pre-alpha footage. Round 8 Studio. Welcome to Crat. Whoa. Oh, what the freak? It's got an interesting atmosphere already. I'm feeling it. That guy reminds me of the person from Bloodborne. So they're like. This fits right in, actually. With... Wake up, son. Whoa! Yeah, it's basically Bloodborne in a different era. Yo, this looks freaking phenomenal, first of all, oh my goodness. Oh, shit. What the freak? Yo. Who do you play as? That's it? Nope. This game looks crazy. Boss battle? Yo. Yo, so if that's a teaser trailer for for the alpha gameplay, that means that they are going to be releasing some gameplay soon. Because I want to see the rest of that. I want to see some more raw gameplay. That looks freaking crazy. First of all, the graphics are amazing. It has that, I can't even say Dark Souls gameplay, but it's like that from software, like um, Bloodborne. It reminds me of Bloodborne a lot, the way you... The way the person walks a little bit, the way the person attacks. Graphically, the game looks freaking crazy. The enemies look really interesting. The atmosphere looks kind of like Bloodborne, but it has that. It's. This game looks freaking crazy. It looks insane, first of all. I gotta watch that one more time. Let's watch it one more time. This looks freaking insane, first of all. This looks insane. It looks really impressive. And I'm not even sure how big Round A Studio is. I'm not sure what they did. But but this game looks freaking good. This game looks good. I'm not sure if this game is cross-gen or it's next-gen only. But, but the graphics are really impressive with this game. 
and I like the, and the uh, I like the enemies. Like the one thing that gets me in video games is the variety of enemies in a game. Now I'm not saying this game had a lots of variety, but based off what I've seen, the enemies look really interesting. But and, and, what's the tie-in with Pinocchio? If that's a thing, like, am I wrong about that or no? Because I could have sworn I heard about Pinocchio or something about, like, having some sort of attachment with, with this game. I could be wrong. I didn't watch the movie about him, so I just know of him. But this looks freaking crazy. And I like the blood... Like the blood gets on your character too, sort of like Bloodborne. Wow, man. It, 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 it's like a Bloodborne DLC, kind of. Yo, this looks really freaking interesting and fun to play. Actually, it looks fun. But I just want to know what's going on. Like, what's the story? How did all these things appear? What, like, what happened? Because it's like some of them are puppets, I think, and some of them are robots. You, so it's kind of like what's what's going on in this game. And, and we didn't get no window release. We didn't get no date, no nothing. And this looks freaking cool. It's kind of like a showdown about to go down right here. Yeah, man, I'm really now. Now I gotta keep my expectations low because, you know, ever since Cyberpunk 2077 did that to me when I was hyping up that game, I just can't hype up games anymore. I don't know what Studio 8 has done, but um, looking at this game, it looks like they're going in the right direction. Now, that's just based off me seeing it, actually playing it. I'm not sure how it's gonna play. I'm not sure if this game's gonna be good or not. But but from what I've seen, this game looks really impressive. It looks really freaking cool. I like everything about it so far. Um, I like that the character has like a metal um, forearm, you know. Um, I like that. I like that he can do like some spells or whatever. Sort of like Elden, not like Elden Ring, but like doing spells. I don't think spells was in Bloodborne at all. I just think you had a had like a weapon and a gun. But this continues, like, I, I'm not trying to bring down Elden Ring in any type of way. Like, I just seen gameplay of that. It looks really good. But, like, graphically, I feel like that game could do better. But, like, I guess that's the Dark Souls aesthetic of the game. Like, a lot of, that's what Dark Souls is. Like, Dark Souls, that's the look of it. Sekiro had it. And Bloodborne didn't have that look. But Sekiro, Dark Souls 1, 2, 3, and Elden Ring. But this game, even though I know it's not attached with from software, you can see that it's attainable. That like, not attainable, but like, these games that go that Dark Souls combat gameplay route, they are having better graphics and looking better than Dark Souls games, kind of like Bloodborne, you know? Um, this game, that Black Myth Wukong, that, how small is that studio? And look what they achieved. Look what they're doing with Black Myth Wukong. That's like a Dark Souls type of game. And that game graphically looks amazing. Gameplay wise, it has amazing potential. You know, so I'm not sure what they're doing at From Software. Well, they can't achieve that, that like shiny graphic like that amazing graphics that that like we're looking for because i'm not sure if elden ring is cross-gen but i don't think that's an excuse like i feel like they should be able to get some better graphics so i'm not saying the game looks like shit but i'm just saying that it could look better and look at demon souls blue point studios did that and look how amazing that game looks look how amazing that game looks yes it's next gen only but that game looks amazing compared to Elden Ring. You know, I'm not trying to bring that game down. I know Elden Ring is going to be an amazing game that y'all from software fans are going to like. I got nothing against y'all. 
but I'm just saying that the game could look better and it's evident that the game could look better when there's smaller studios out there that's, that can obtain amazing graphics like Black Mirror Full Kong. You know, so I'm just saying, but this Lies of P game, I'm going to keep my eye on this game. I'm not sure when this game is releasing. Um, graphically, it looks stellar. It looks stellar, my friend. It looks stellar. Um, but it's funny, though, because if y'all played Greedfall, I'm not sure if y'all know what that game is. It's an RPG game. RPG they um the same studio made um what's that game technomancer they made that and they made bound by flame i forgot the studio names uh is it spider like spider or something i think that's the studio name yeah so they are making a game right now called raisin still still something and they kind of it's funny because this game kind of has that same concept of having these automated robots, sort of dolls, puppet things attacking you. And if you look at that game, I think it's called Raising, wait, it's called Still Rising, yeah. So they kind of have the same concept a little bit, like the character, the character don't look the same, but it looks like it takes place in the same era. And it has the same concept going for it with the robots and the puppet slash doll things attacking you. So I just... I, I kind of caught like a a similarity between those two games, but it, but this game looks better than, than Still Rising. But like that game has kind of like it reminds me of this. That's what that's what I'm coming from. It reminds me of this a lot. So go go look up that gameplay Still Rising. Yeah, so go look up that gameplay, and you will know what I'm talking about. But but yeah, but um, this game looks freaking cool. I will be keeping my eye on this game. I want to see more gameplay. Hopefully, they drop it this week. Yeah, man. It's like, there's... I'm just hoping that this game is not mediocre. I'm hoping this game is not mediocre. I'm hoping it's freaking good. Um, Some games have been surprisingly good this year. Guardians of the Galaxy. Um, Death, Deathloop. Is it called Deathloop? Or, yeah, Deathloop. A lot of games been getting critically acclaimed games that you wouldn't even think that would they would get that. The only reason I feel like these games are getting not big praise because I feel like that would have happened anyway, but games are getting that game of the year status like this because it's not that much out here. Like there's no big bango game this year before the game awards because Halo comes out in December. Which I think should be good, but I don't know. I'm I'm still questionable about all that story and all that shit. So I don't know yet, but we gonna see. Likely, I think this game is gonna drop in 2022 or 2023. So, but I do think we are gonna see gameplay this week. You can't put out a teaser and then wait like weeks or a week just to release it. <laughs> That's how I feel. Like uh, that Jeepers Creepers three or Jeepers Creepers four teaser trailer. Like, it was like 30 seconds. I feel like they got to show that real trailer sooner or later. Like, come on. Better not be trash either. But hit that like button. Hit the subscribe button. Don't forget the links down below. And i uh, see you in another video. Peace.